Tis the season to pull out the old Christmas lights, plug them in, only to find something's not right. So there's a burnt out light somewhere here, and this is a string of a hundred lights, so I don't want to have to pull them all out one by one looking for the dead one. But there's an easier way to figure out more quickly which one's broken. Here's how this string of lights is actually hooked up. There's a plug on one side, a receptacle on the other, hot and neutral going straight between, and then tapping in, there's two series chains of 50 lights. Each light is 2.5 volts, so 50 of these on one series string is going to be 125 volts, and another 125 volt independent circuit over here. And the other string here actually is lit up, so I know I don't have any problem with fuses or main wiring. It's most likely I have a bulb out. So let's say this one is the one that's out. Well, if I use one of these non-contact AC voltage testers where you, in this case, you turn it on by pushing on this clip and it'll just beep a bit to show you it's working, you can run around looking for live power. So if this right here is the hot connection, then if every light is working along here and I probe, I should be able to detect voltage all the way along here and when I get to this break with a blown bulb, I should not detect anything over here. And these plugs are non-polarized, you can flip it around, and in that case hot would be on the bottom. So then I would see voltage right here, and I would see it coming up to this point, but the circuit's broken so I would not see a hot connection through here because this is all connecting to neutral. So without taking the bulbs out, I should be able to trace the circuit with this AC voltage detector and see where I stop getting a hot connection. So this is plugged in, and here's the first light in the chain. Now, if I just go up near the light and try to probe, I'm going to most likely detect still a line voltage. Because I have the hot and the neutral running here, so it's going to detect a presence. But the hand is a pretty good shield, so if I just separate out only what's going into the light socket, I've pretty much now shielded what's below here, so I should detect a true presence or absence of power. So I'm not detecting a hot connection right here, but that doesn't necessarily mean we have a broken connection somewhere. It could mean that this is just neutral. So I'll flip this plug around, And now there should be hot going through light to light, and I should be able to detect it. Okay, so now I know I've got a hot connection starting here and coming up at the beginning of the chain of lights and going light to light, and this will be neutral. Let me double check that. I'll shield everything below, and I'm not detecting. So I come back to that first light, it should be hot. And I can actually go right up to the light bulb because that's where the connection goes. So we know we're good here, we're getting a hot connection. Go to the next light. Separate it out so we're just getting the main wire. Still have a connection up to this point at least. Go to the next light. It's a tangled mess. Separate that out. We have a hot connection at least up to this point. Go to the next light. We still have something. Next light. We have something. Next light, we have something. Now we can go on forever, one light at a time. So then the next one, the next one. Then we go to the next one, and there's nothing. And so back to the previous light. So we have a hot connection up to here, but then the circuit's broken because we don't get anything right here. 
Now I can see this looks burned out, so this probably would have been an easy one to do visually, but it's not always that obvious. So I'll take that one out. I have another one here. And that was the problem. So if you have a light that's obviously got burn marks on it, that's probably going to be the bad one. But if none of the lights look suspicious, using one of these non-contact AC voltage detectors may help you quickly get through a strand of lights. If you have a million lights and you don't want to go one by one, you can try going to the first one, going to the last one, going halfway in between, and then, depending if you still do or don't have contact, go halfway each time and narrow it down a lot more quickly. I have a few more strings of lights to go check now, so I'm definitely going to take this shortcut. 